each after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. I'm going to tell you a story about the domestic goat. Wait, now it's my turn to pull the cart. You handle the back. Go on, you go back there. It's just not right that you handle all the heavy work. Now, it's my turn. Thanks, little brother, but you're still too small to pull the cart. Don't you worry. I'm very strong. You'll see. Uh, uh, you see how strong I am? <laughs> you're doing great, little brother. Big brother. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, this fertilizer got much heavier. Must you be so lazy, little brother? I can't do all the work myself. Than I am, so that means that you have to work harder. Look, our neighbors seem to be fighting as usual. Hey, what's the matter, guys? If you want this fertilizer, move, Porky. Move it yourself. Don't you oh. be disrespectful. Oh. Oh. Is that the way to treat your oh. other brother? Oh. 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 Calm down. It doesn't serve any purpose to fight. You won't solve anything like this, my friend. What should we do? Divide the work evenly. What the? I'm afraid so. <laughs> uh, All right, we'll give you the shot. You take the back and I'll take the front and later we'll switch. But you have to promise that you're not going to push all the weight on me. And you have to stop all your complaining. Now that we're in agreement, let's get going. Now you go fetch another load. But I can't do it by myself. I'm just little, you know. Oh. Don't start that again. Uh, wait, maybe I have a solution that'll suit both of us. I think that's enough fertilizer for today. Mr. Goat, may I ask you a favor? Sure, what can I do for you? I'd like to know if you'd lend me your cart. Yes, of course. I was just telling my brother that we brought in enough fertilizer for today. Oh, thank you. 
If our neighbors didn't waste their time fighting, they would be further along with their work. You may be right, but it's not up to us to judge. All in all, they're good neighbors. There it is. You wanted a cart, and I got you a cart. Now get to work. Yeah, but... Hey, I don't want any more excuses. I borrowed the cart. You have to load it up. What? Do you think I'm stupid? Ugh. You take the cart. What? It's your turn to work, so you take it. No, you! 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 You take it! Oh, no, what a mess. Now look what you've done. Well, it looks like we're never gonna get anything done. Oh, no. They're already planting. Finished. This promises to be a really great harvest. We'll be sitting pretty all winter long. <laughs> oh no, we can't stop now. We gotta start planting. Who's gonna start the work? Don't argue about it. We gotta get started. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Little brother? I'm developing blisters. Rest a while. I'll finish the work. You've been overdoing it. Someone's gonna have to do something. Hey, little brother, did you hear the loudspeaker? No, I wasn't listening. It said we have to place support sticks if we want our pumpkins to grow strong and beautiful. But we don't have any support sticks. Yeah, but our good neighbors, the goat brothers, do. You can go and ask them if they have any left over. All right, I'll ask, but you put them in the field. Okay, it's a deal. Promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. You made a promise, so don't you dare go back on your word! Don't 
Don't worry, go and get the sticks. Hello, what are you doing around here? We finished all our sticks and so... Well, we have tons of sticks. So if you need some, please help yourself. Take as many as you need, my friend. Thanks. Do you think it's possible they could have finished all their sticks, Big Brother? No, I think they've been very lazy and didn't prepare ahead of time. Then they heard the loudspeaker and they started to get worried. over the sticks while he sleeps. I'll fix him. Ha! Wake up! What's going on, little brother? Come with me. Where are we going? You'll see when we get there. The sticks. Uh, so what? So you know what you have to do with them. If we want to have a beautiful harvest, then you're going to have to put the support sticks in the field. But do I got to do it right now? You made a promise, don't you remember? Yeah, okay, but it wouldn't hurt to give me a little head, would it? What? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I can't help it. <laughs> Just the idea of watching you work makes me laugh. <laughs> hey, you guys. I brought over some extra sticks in case you need them. You tricked me! You didn't carry over all these sticks by yourself, did you? Tell the truth! Wait a minute. Are you gonna keep a promise or not? You wanted the sticks, and I went and got them for you. Yes, indeedy. Here are the sticks. You guys better get to work. There's no time to lose. But he says he doesn't want to help with the work. The important thing is that you guys learn how to work together. Look. Your plants need those sticks so that they can flourish the way they should. You guys are a team. And teamwork is the most important thing when getting the job done. So come to an agreement and get to work. So, are you going to give me a hand? Well, remember your promise. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna have a bumper harvest. I can't say that everything is in perfect order, but the important thing is that we got it done. I still don't understand what these sticks are supposed to do. It's simple. The little plants grow upward around the sticks so that the flowers get as much sun as they need to become beautiful pumpkins. Without working to death. <laughs> Does the 
few more days and they'll be ready to be. Yes, indeedy. Look over there. Looks like that storm is coming our way. And there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, there is. We have to tie down all the support sticks or the wind will blow them away. Get going, little brother. But that's your responsibility. I put the sticks in the field. You tie them down. It's no fair. Why do I always have to do the dirty your work? Your attention, please. Listen. Your attention, please. A severe storm is sweeping through the region. Protect your crops from gale force winds. Did you hear the loudspeaker? Come on, move it. There's no time to lose. It's too late. Look, the wind's already here. Look how well our support sticks are doing. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, it's coming. You tie those sticks down like I told you to. It's your fault. You put them there. Here, there, ready to pick. Here. Uh. Here, catch. Uh. <laughs> I, I just knew we would have a wonderful harvest. <laughs> You did a wonderful job, big brother, don't you think? Hey, you're right, little brother. We're gonna have a full storehouse and an easy winter. There, you see, it's time to harvest. Yes, but unfortunately, there's not much forest to harvest. You're going to have to work your fields in harmony like we do. You're right. We've learned a great lesson. We'll never avoid work again. I'll never complain again. I'll work hard all day. That's a wonderful decision. Very good. Very good. And we'll teach you how to prepare your fields properly. <laughs> <laughs> 
The Domestic Goat How is the domestic goat classified in the animal kingdom? The domestic goat belongs to the Artiodactylan order, to the Bovidae family and the Capra genus. Goats come in a wide variety of sizes, shapes and colors. However, they all have two flaps of skin on either side of their necks, which are called wattles, and the males all have beards. How many species are there, and where do they live? All domestic goats belong to the Capra Igagrus hercus species, from which a number of different breeds have been selected. They are to be found in all mountainous regions, mainly Switzerland, Central and Southwest Asia, and in Africa. How do they live? Domestic goats, just like their wild cousins, live in groups and enjoy being outdoors, even in the most intemperate climates and in the most inaccessible places. How does it move? With amazing agility, they're famous for their ability to move by leaping from pinnacle to pinnacle and along the steepest crags and ridges. What do they eat? Domestic goats are very picky animals and carefully sniff and taste any food before eating it. They are especially fond of shoots and fresh grass. How do they protect themselves? Essentially by running away, climbing swiftly to safety in inaccessible places. How do they relate to people? Pretty well and have so for a very long time. Goats were first domesticated around the 7th century BC, well before the ox. Can they live in the city? On the outskirts of cities, in areas that are still grassy, it's not uncommon to see flocks of goats grazing. Well, have you all learned the lesson? The moral of the story is that working as a team makes all difficulties seem easier. <laughs> oh, look who's coming!